Hello and welcome. Susie Stitcher here. So here's Wally. Wally, well, do you want to say hello? This is that right lucky. He was getting a bit concerned because uh, Candy and Peach have had a shower and um, he was thinking he's, he's next. But um, it's all dependent on the weather tomorrow. Um, and if it's like it is today, then it'll be his and Eddie's turn. Um, but the girls look so lovely and they smell delicious. <laughs> Not to eat, but they smell lovely and floral don't you? Yeah, look at you. Oh, they're so nice. They must feel nice and fresh. So, I was going to do this vlog tomorrow, but something arrived today and I thought it, it blew me away. And I thought I'm going to do it today to show you. Um, just so thoughtful and very special so let me show you that first so this arrived from the lovely Sarah hi Sarah and we met through zoom and we've stayed very good friends from that and hopefully um, we're gonna have a chat next week and I might be chatting to Pauline too so um, which will be lovely so, oh, wait till you see this. She made this and it's diamond painting and there's quilling in there. It's amazing. Look at this. It's really... Isn't that clever? Look. I just love it. That is my little Wally. How much work has gone into that? And look at that quilling. So this will be in the living room where I can see it constantly. The colours of me. Just beautiful. You might hear a chicken, she's probably laid an egg. So that. Then, oh, sorry. Sorry, Bows. I'll show you the cards um, and then the other pieces that she's done for me. So she sent me this card um, regarding flow. And she's handmade this and it's beautiful and um, wait she's anyway look at this and I'll show you because she's wrote me a message but I'm gonna know I'm gonna show you just this part Is it not? So thoughtful. Um, and like I said to Sarah, as oh, anybody new subscribers, I'll mention this, but my cat Flo had to be put to sleep through to health. And um, I've got a, I've got two crafting trolleys in the living room. And in the corner, um, she used to lay on the bottom of my crafting trolley. And, um, sorry. Um, I've got her paw prints and her, a cutting of her fur, um, a card which I received from the vets, um, a card that I received with her ashes and also a beautiful um, pot that her ashes were in. I was brave enough. I was going to ask Abby because I was going to get a rose tree 
and then Abby got two lavender trees and I thought that would be perfect for Flo's ashes. So I got, Abby ordered me one and I said to her, I'm not sure if I can do put her ashes in. Um, so she said, I can do it, that's fine. All right, Peach. Um, and then yesterday I thought, I've got to do this. And I did. It was um, a little bit hurtful to do, but I wanted to do it. It was only right that I should put her ashes in there. Um, so she's in with the lavender tree um, in a pot. Um, so all the things, uh, so the pot that her ashes were in, anything to do with flow. And after putting, I will have this card up for a while and then it will go on where Flo used to lay. Some bits are already re already there already. Um, and I'm gonna get a frame for her fur, parts of her fur and the paw prints um, and have them in a the frame. Um, but yeah, it's all where she used to lay. So that's where the card will go eventually. But lovely Sarah, absolutely so thoughtful. I'm sorry. Okay, so oh, I'm dropping things. This card, oh my, she's done diamond painting again. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Just stunning. And I'm thinking and having this in a frame too. It will go on my mantelpiece for now, but I think I'm going to frame it, Sarah. Just so beautiful. Um... And I'm gonna, she's left me a private message on there too, but I'll show you this because it's very heartfelt. Isn't that lovely? So kind. Um, and this card, so, um Christmas in July next month which I'd forgotten about until Miriam on Instagram um said about it she messaged me and um Sarah made this card look at this <laughs> I love it so this is going up and she's put happy Christmas in July hope you get lots of Christmas crafting done Sarah kiss kiss and I do love Christmas in July so th that is amazing never had anything like this before And is yeah, and look at this. She's done a diamond painting, sun catcher. Look at that day. Look. Sarah, you are just so clever. You really are very talented lady. Um, so this is going to hang up in my kitchen window. Isn't it beautiful? Look at that crystal. Look at this. So there was an envelope and it said for Mabel, which is anyone new, I've got a mobility scooter, which 
I was given by my ex must be a couple of months now guys and um, it's a foldable one and it's amazing so Sarah got me this key ring for Mabel look at this is Wally Hold on. look isn't that the cutest thing I love it Okay, so, so yeah, that's going on Mabel's key. Thank you for thinking of Mabel. And I forgot to message on this as well, Sarah. I'm so sorry. I was just blown away with all these makes. This beautiful fabric. Look at that. So I've got to think what I'll you know make up with this Sarah but it's beautiful so thank you so much Sarah honestly I really think a lot of that what you've done for me um, and I want to give you a big big hug thank you my darling and I look forward to talking to talking talking to you next week we're gonna have a, a laugh I tell you so yeah, amazing. So let's put that there for now. Oh, just my nose again, sorry. So, um, got a few things to show you. It's a little bit warm, I've got my fan on. Um, Right, let me do this cross stitch and then I'll show you something that the things I'd ordered off Etsy. So, um, maybe I'll have to show you the things from Etsy near the end because everything's like pulled up here. So, I'll show you this first. So, let's just remove the pattern. Oops. I think I can cut a piece off to be quite honest um, I'll check the measurement just to it will help a little bit right, I'll show you the design so this is Hands Across the Sea, Margaret Beatty, 1866. So I've completed the alphabet along here and now I've started this darker green. I'm really happy with the progress I've done. So here it is. Let me put my light on, see if that helps. I'm not sure if it will. Oh yeah, a little bit. Mm, maybe not. Sorry about this. There we go. So you can see. <laughs> oh, there's not enough hands, is there? Oh, you can see the green where I've started. So, yeah. Put that back up there. Right, oh, and the threads are 103.
and what I've done now is that the border uh, border piece only has um, apart from the little flowers two colors of green so I've kept them out so I'm not going to keep going back in the bag so that's what I'm doing now which makes it a lot easier okay so I finished on FO so early Christmas morning blackbird designs and I've completed it there it is oh my this took so much stuffy it really did I'm slightly out it's supposed to be really central but hey ho it's fine there we go And I've just used some um, calico for the base. But I'm so pleased with it, I really am. So yeah, so I've decided when I've completed things now, unless I really want to keep the pattern because I'm not gonna make this again, I'm gonna just sell them so i'm gonna sell this for five pounds and then it'll be the postage and packet on top which will be very minimal i would have thought about 177 something like that so if you would like to buy it off me just message me in the comments and i'll do it through paypal if you do paypal so yeah just let me know five pounds so then your postage so there you go and it is immaculate um i always photo oh, photocopy my pattern and um, i photocopied the circle as well for cutting um for the parts um but it is immaculate so if you're interested if not i'll put it on instagram so that is that i'm really pleased about right um so another thing, so ooh, for any newbies, um, I did Little House Needleworks Fall on the Farm um, and I did the blocks set rather than put it on one panel. Now I'm thinking I should have put it on one panel because I'm making it into a quilt. But never mind. So this has been sitting upstairs. And so I finished it, was it last year? Or the year before? I can't remember now. Time goes so quickly. So what I'm doing, I had, um, I think about a metre of this fabric. So I'm going to make that into a block. So that'll be going across there. And then when I've completed them all, I mean, there's a whole set of them they're going to be backed onto this ginnum and I think this is a perfect colour for it. Um, just put that on there. What was the date on that? Oh, 2022. Um, I'd completed it. But yeah, look at that with the green. I think it's perfect. So that is another... Um, the chart set I'll be selling and I'll they're immaculate again um, they're in their pockets so I will be selling the chart set for £20 and then there's your postage which will probably be a little bit more because it's the set in there um, so if you're interested in that fall on the farm set little house needle works just message me in the comment below and like I said if it doesn't 
I don't get no one wanting and I'll put them on Instagram. So yeah, if you because it's I'm not gonna make them again. And if someone else can put use to them, then that's good. So yeah, that's gonna be a work in progress, um, this. But I think it's gonna be really nice when it's completed. Just like that one. Sorry, Bob. Um So, for Christmas in July, I'm going to be doing the Wonderful Life Pinky. I won't show you today because I've only done a small amount of green leaf, so it's not even worth showing you. Um, but this is Pauline from Sobe Bags. Beautiful bag. She just put some more up and there's a Holly Hobby one there, which is absolutely beautiful. Right, so... This is, um, just finding the one that I'm on. Little House Needleworks, Jack Frost Tree Farm. Um, just making sure I'm on. One, two, three. I'm not doing in the, the order that there is. I'm doing it where I want to put them in the, their line. Um, so, this is the one that I'm on now. Take it out of this pocket. And these are the pockets that the ball and the farm will be in. Okay. I've been doing this for quite a few years, which is fine. I do it when I'm I mean, Christmas in July and then November time it comes out. So, uh, let's get the threads. So the threads are classic colour works and I've got one DMC in there. So I saw sort of twist them and I thought, oh, that's a good way to show it. Oh yeah, look at that. That. Now, board, lovely Mandy gave me. Hi, Mandy. So, that's it so far. Ugh, look at this, it's just such a lovely design. But yeah, here we go, the pine part. So yeah, so that will be Christmas in July with the uh, wonderful life. I don't think I can stop um, stitching the Margaret Beatty because I said I want to get to the a little girl. So um, I'll be doing her in between. So, we're starting that on Monday. Let's put that down there. Oh, sorry, Bob. It's laying right near my things. It's going to flop. Sorry, Bob. Right, let's just have a drink. Got a diet coat today. Right, um... Right, another thing that I got second hand was off eBay and this lady was selling off, her mum couldn't craft anymore. So she was selling her things and um, she put up this mini iron and I've been wanting one for ages. And um, oh, brilliant and it's immaculate. 
and you've got high, medium, low settings. So I made an offer and she accepted. So I've actually got one now, which is amazing. So yeah, and it's nice that someone else has got it that likes the things that she liked or likes, but just can't do anymore. Um, so it's gone to a good home. So that's that. Right, okay, now the Etsy. Oh. <laughs> I'm slipping and sliding. Yeah, that wasn't part of it. So, I'm going to have to get... Where's the card? That's the card. Right, so Etsy, Northumberland Sampler House. Do take, do take a look because what's on there is beautiful. So she had these bags. Um, there was a couple of other sampler designs on them, but I chose this one. Look at that. So you can read. Look. Oh. Look at that design. So, Elizabeth Tessel, 1825, December. But it's such a good size, it really is. Lovely little bucket bag. So, inside, uh, let me get my scissors. So I ordered this. I'm <laughs> all fingers and thumbs. You've got a snowflake, the bells. And it came with, so it's a card, came with a design. So pretty. So, yeah, that's one of my little scissors. And I don't care that it's Christmas, it's fine. Christmas in July, isn't it, coming up? So, it's fine. And oh, I couldn't resist this. Isn't that? Look at the cat. Um, I know it's not black and white like Flo, but I just wanted to get it. So pretty. Um, she had loads of different ones of the thread keeps, but oh. I'd definitely get more of these from her. Just gorgeous. And last but not least, now I haven't opened this because I thought I'd wait till I was speaking to you. She had some tea towels on there. So let's take a look. And it's 50% linen cotton. Made in England. Oh. Oh, stop. Sorry about the crinkling.
sorry I'll have a look first, but that is stunning. So I can show you all of it. Look at that. Oh. Look at that house. And the dog's a bit creased. Look at that dog. Oh. Isn't that beautiful? I'm so happy with that. I so say she had others on there. You need to go and take a look, honestly. So, yeah. Really happy about that. Um, Farm Girl Dry Goods, I'm still waiting, obviously, because it's America. Um, that's absolutely fine. I um, also ordered my is it Primitive Stitches magazine. You know what I mean. Um, the American one. So, waiting for that to arrive, the summer one. So, I'm looking forward to seeing that. So I can sort that out now of showing you. But yeah, show you again just to make sure. I, I highly recommend to take a look. And I received the, the kit, well, not the kit, um, my buys a couple of days later. And she lets you know as well. So yeah, highly recommend. And I'm using this already. Um, I'm keeping all my um, threads and that from Margaret Beatty. So, I mean, you see how many spools there I've got, but look at that. I just love it, really love it. So that is that. Um, haven't done any applique work. Um, my fingers have started peeling again. I've been putting loads of hand cream on them, so I'm not even going to attempt that. Um, sure, there's something else I was going to tell you. Well, Summer War Festival is the end of next month. Um, I'm so excited, and they've been showing who's going to be there now. And so look at the vintage knitting is going to be there, which I don't remember last year them being there. They might have been, but and lay family yarns. I'm so excited to go to their stall and have a really good look. Um, and I'd love to come back with a skein of yarn from there. So um, we'll see. Um, but yeah, they've been showing a lot who's going to be there. And I think it's more than last year. I really do. There's going to be a lady there. Um, if you want to book it to show you how to dye your yarn. Um, and she's got kits and that, which I'm looking forward to seeing. Um, but yeah, I, it's coming nearer now and I'm really getting excited. Be nice to have something to think about. Um, and the other thing, um, Stitched by Mrs. D, um, which I'm sure loads of you know, um, she does her YouTube, but she did her new, another Advent bed this year, and it is a panda. Now, I wasn't going to do it because I thought, I've got a fig. Anyone that's new, let me show you Fig. He was my last year's advent bear from her. Um, he had a Christmas jumper on, which Paula had made. But I've made this for him. The cool trousers was part of his advent and his shoes. Um, but I made him this cap. Because I think it really suited him. So yeah, look at the size of him. 
that was last year's um so his name's pig with two g's um yeah so i wasn't gonna do it and then she did the video and she said she's gonna be a panda but if you want a bear message me and i thought and it's gonna be a girl i've got to do it and like i said before you gotta be quick because once they're on there they go so quickly and oh abby had took me out i think it was an appointment again and um i got back and then i just looked at the time and then it came to my head i thought and this was like 10 minutes after the time i thought there's no way i can get one now but anyway i went on there and yes they're still on there so i managed to get one and i am so excited because last year's blew me away and you can watch i did a christmas vlog um so you know you can go and have a look um but oh i just loved it so i know this year's will be just as good or maybe even better but it's, yeah it's a little girl so yeah very excited about that so um what i'm gonna do um things are really growing out now uh, things that's from seeds and what abby's giving me so i'm going to show you that in a little while and show you my baby bun well the same baby bun is uh, like i said growing um agatha and bramwell um so they're outside because how nice it is um so i'll show you them so just to let you know i had the pet scan um it took an hour to get there um they put the sugar and it's radiation that was put in me so i had to sit for an hour in this room um left alone and then i went and had the scan which took about 25 minutes um and obviously it was an hour back um but it's done um had the respiratory test um so another done so the lady said i should see the consultant next week because i should hear um so we'll see we'll see but it's done and dusted june the end of may obviously because i lost i lost flow and all of June, I'm going to say, because of candy and then what's been happening to me, i just be glad to say bye-bye. Um, it's been horrendous. So I just want to get into July and, yeah, let's just see. Um, I haven't been sleeping well, but last night, I think because of all what's occurred and with the tests, and then last night I went to bed early and I just hit that pillow and I had such a good sleep last night and I didn't get up to half nine. The dogs were so good um, and I feel so good for having that sleep. I really do. Um, I hurt quite a lot, but I'm so happy I've had a good night's sleep. So make sure you help cope with things better better doesn't it so anyway that's it for now um i'm sort of creeped because i was doing it as you know changing to fortnightly uh vlogs but it's getting back now into weekly so all depending how i feel i will try and get to keep to weekly um obviously you don't know what happens in your life you know every day is different isn't it but for what i'm going to try and do is keep it to weekly so we'll see but i've got some more new subscribers we're now 426 thank you so much for that honestly i really appreciate it it's 
it's just a lovely feeling um and say when i'm talking about things i try to remember say oh if i've got any newbies da 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 so do bear with me um if not have a look at my uh, my old ones um and i hope you enjoy them too but it'd be lovely if you can like that'd be great it's something to do with the algorithms it puts me out more so we'll get more subscribers and um if you are enjoying this if you can subscribe that'd be great so anyway take care thank you for watching bye so sorry about the aeroplane noise there's an air show going on not far away from us and they're old planes and now the red arrows um, quite a lot earlier but anyway um just got Brownwell and Aggie from their pen now and just put them in and they're sleepy <laughs> Brownwell's the first one Aggie's at the back Aggie's darker grey And I've got um, a few extra moo toys in there with little bells in. I want to make focus out. And they love this grass mat. So I've got two of them for them. And that bell's got all bits of herbs and things in there. Sorry about the focus. There we go. Yeah. So I just want to say sorry. The other day I didn't put the, pit, the video of Bramwell and me um in so i'll put it in on the end of this so let me show you that some of the things that are growing well now so these are the cucumbers i've grown from seed there's tomatoes this one i bought as a um came in a tray from morrison's but look at them now and this is what I grew from seed. Um, there's beetroot that I grew from seed. Here's the lavender tree that flows in. So hopefully it'll grow to a nice height, but yeah, I want that to flow. Is um, what I planted, I think it was over a week ago. And come around here. This I got from the farm shop, we get all the things for the pets. Look at that lots of buds on it. Roses are ending now. This is the other one that I planted the other week or a week ago. Time's coming on. The parsley, look at that now. Sweet peas are getting higher. And this is the broccoli that Abby gave me. And she grew from seed. That's my strawberry plant. Look, I've put some strawberries in there. I have a lot of strawberry plants. Nothing much happening with these seeds yet, but we've got some lettuce. The one, um, this is the only tomato plant that um, managed to save with the snails, but look at that now. And broccoli. But I might have to transfer because of the size it will grow. There we go. Hello again. So, oh, Brownwell. Hello, 
Let's take it to his. Oh, let's put it down for a minute. Hold on, it got caught up. That's a good boy. Hold on. Tip you down a bit more. Uh, hold on. There we go. Oh, <laughs> see Wally? He's so bothered with the heat. Come here, bruh. You're going to say hello to me. Yeah, look at your fans. Wait, can you see how big are his grow? Oh, okay. He's really grown. Aren't you? Yeah, she doesn't want to be nosy. Yeah. You should like that with a fan on. Yeah. But they are, they're absolutely brilliant. Aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. You're a good boy. Yes. But I can't believe how much they've grown in this time um, we've had them. And uh, Aggie now, as uh, one of her ears has dropped, so she's got the French lop ear, hasn't she? Yeah. And when you put them together, both of their um, floppy ears are together. It's so lovely. Right, to so let you out in a minute. I wouldn't mind the back door's open, but he goes to the front door and I have to let him out the front and he touches the door chain. I say, Come on, let me out in a minute, Tiggs. It's too warm for you, isn't it, baby? Yeah. But he loves playing, he plays a lot, don't you? More than Aggie. Yeah. How are you doing? Are you good my phone? Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> He's a bit shy still with coming out the cage. Um, I can eat no problem. But um, I don't make him if he doesn't want to. It doesn't have to. And um. At the end of the day, they're, they're going into the garden as well. So, and it's a big cage. Even better when we get the Wendy house. Oh, someone put one up. And um, it was Northampton. And um, I messaged and it had gone. But it was so, it looked so nice. They even had a little window box outside. Yeah. You'll get one, won't you, Graham? Yeah? You love it. And grow some herbs in your window box. Would you like that? And some flowers. Yeah, in the basket. Don't you look at my dress. <laughs> it's investigating now. Don't bother Wally, he's asleep. Come on. Oh, just excuse me. Yeah, I know. So, there you go. There's Bramwell. Okay. So, I hope you enjoyed seeing him again. And next time, I'll get Aggie out. I'll show you Aggie. Um, she's been sleeping a bit. I think it's the heat. Um, <laughs> you're still a misty, aren't you? So, I will see you. And Brammy, do you want to say goodbye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye.